still listen to this theme song. It gives me chills. I don't know why. Hey guys, Damage Fury here. <clears throat> in the series we haven't done in a while, is Black Ops 2 Red Band. I decided I'd continue it because I love the Black Ops 2 Red Band. I mean, who doesn't? I'm earlier, I did a video with uh, Ethan on Black Ops 2 Zombies on town. Check that out. Alright, let's do this. I can't figure out the ninja is without getting inside his fucking head. Hey, Lil Six. Are you grew up in Nicaragua during his rise to power. You know his legends better than anyone. Tell me, why does he hate us so much? Tu primera guerra fría. As a boy, he witnessed the country's rape and murder his people. In 1972, there was a colossal earthquake. His family lost everything. A year later, the only thing he ever loved, his sister Josefina, was crippled in a fire. Raul and his father started over, sold drugs for easy money. They became rich, powerful legends of Managua. The Menendez cartel was all but untouchable, so the CIA took out Raul's father in a U.S. sanctioned assassination. Right, so now Menendez fucking hated America and started running guns in Afghanistan for his own private army. The CIA got wind of it, went on the hunt for him in Kabul. That was the photo Wood showed us in the vault, remember? See that handsome bastard? That's me. The older one's your father. After Nam. The numbers and all that? I mean, he was a dangerous son of a bitch. I wonder where that photo got taken. Who takes a photo out in the middle of the desert? And why isn't this show in the campaign? I wanna, like, pose for a picture. Mason. It's showtime, Mason! It's showtime, Mason! What'd you see, Woods? Sand. Sand. Sand and more fucking, more fucking sand. sand. Hudson's contact's on his way. You reckon we can trust the Chinese? We can't hear him. No. They've been supporting the Mujahideen, same as us. Okay, I guess we can. You know, if Russian was in Afghanistan, they'd be looking at China next. No one likes the Russians, huh? You know me. I don't like anyone. You might want to get your head down. Take it easy, Sal! Weapons. Now, what about your end of the deal? I will take you to the leader of the Mujahideen. He can help you find Raul Menendez. We have fresh horses. You will follow. Let's do it. Mason, it's Hudson. Did you make contact with Jiao? We're on our way to the Mujah. What the hell are you gonna do with that? You never know. Mason's voice is... Ah. Amazing. I'm sure I don't that our two section great. There will be serious consequences if Russia learns about in Afghanistan. They're going all out. They're even bringing out a tank. What are you doing around? Find some cover or get to attack. Are you guys smoking long? Are you... Really? You don't do anything. Give me a hit off that fucking shit. What the fuck? Hitting a bomb when they no stand. If a Russian attack is indeed imminent, you're gonna need all the help you can get. 
I've arranged for a couple of specialists to act in an advisory capacity. Here they are now. Ramon, this is Woods. And my men. We need weapons, not soldiers. This should be good. Just so we're clear, we hold off the Russian attack, you give us what you does. Our base is here. Any advance will come through one of the narrow passes leading into the valley. I know this. Our men defend these mountains. Our weapons will give them an edge. That's a bullshit plan. They're talking about the Russian army here. They come at you with brute force, which means strength in numbers and heavy armor. Are your men ready for that? They have no experience with the weaponry we brought. We do. We belong in the front line. The Russian assault has begun. Defend the West Yalla, blocking point. You have faith in your plans, America. I got more than faith, Zhao. Let's rock it. Don't know what I have for a gun. I equipped it like a million years ago. We must hurry! Uh -huh, we cannot there's... allow them to enter the valley! Settle up, Mason. I will. I'm just picking a lock. Give me a minute. Motors. Tougher than we thought. We got hips dropping infantry right in front of the camp. We got their boots ID. Just get to the two points and hold back the armor. Too fucking close. Follow me. F, F, F. Time rushes. Tanks heading my way. Try to lay them in the path of the vehicle. Beat the archer. Right over there. Blow it! Target's choke point is secure! Armor is through this way! Woods, face it. They're throwing everything they have at us. Threats all over the valley. Boozer reporting rushing tanks moving in from the north. 
brute force and strength in numbers? You expected such a fight. I wonder if I can just try and let them up. Don't mind how fucking gay it is. Fuck you. Fucking hey, kill. Tanks are still moving, Mason! Fuck! Fucking die! Tanks are down, Hudson! We're seeing enemy helos approaching from the east. Roger that, Hudson! Moving to intercept! Leave it to us, Hudson! Why are you fucking kidding me? Shoot! Ow! Thank you. Hudson! Oh, the gunships are grounded! We're rushing helos. Move to engage. We're on it, Hudson. Thank you, helicopter. 
blowing up your own teammate. Oh, clearance. Holy shit. I'm getting shot by. Just like I did. You better know. Why did my horse go all the way over here? My horse thing was doing. Your old doing. man was one tough son of a bitch. Bet your ass he was. Kravchenko. Basically carved the hole in his head, and he sucked those fucking numbers in there, and he survived that. Well, <laughs> they just didn't see those numbers anymore, but I don't know. I'm not so sure about that. Mason, better take a look. This isn't over yet. Russians want to give us one last display of brute force. Let's give them one last display of courage. You with me? For Kuta!
fucking Kravchenko. Piece of shit. Of course he's involved in all this. Kravchenko must die. <sighs> Couple times, I saw the tick. They get that look in his eyes, they're scanning the room. <laughs> Next thing you know, he's talking to the Russian. Fucking Reznov. <laughs> Good old tricky Vic. Woods. Maybe I should handle this interrogation. Maybe you see the fuck out of my. I get unfinished business with this bastard. <laughs> I left you to rot in Vietnam, Sergeant Woods. You should be dead. Nobody told me. My buddy Raman tells me you're doing business with a Raguin named Raul Menendez. What do you do for me? Fuck you! You believe in an eye for an eye? Huh? This is a Mujahideen, baby. Bury you up to your neck, pull your eyelids back, and leave you to fry in the desert. I'll take you out quick. Tell me about Menendez. I sell him weapons. I'm yeah, hey. brother. The Soviet Union is dying. How are none of them noticing that I'm like. Where are the like weapons? On Angola, the third world. Why? And in this one stone will burn. And that's not gonna happen. Oh. <laughs> Oops. The fuck are you doing? Menendez told me you must face piece of shit. We have you fight the Russians on your side! No. No, you are and always will be our true enemy. Without water and shelter, you may last a day. If you are strong... Father think rides up on a horse to Tricky Vic. Yeah, see? You're just like your old man. No, it wasn't him. That's not. Come on, if you think it was him, don't you think he would have stuck around for a bit, huh? Maybe explain some shit? Okay, that will be tomorrow. Alright, if you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. You can subscribe in the top right corner with my logo. You can see the rest of the Black Ops 2 campaign that I've done in the top left corner, even though it has my baby voice in it, but that's okay. If you want to suffer through that, go ahead and subscribe to WWE Monkey in the bottom left corner. and. And tomorrow, you can see my newest video in this video in the bottom right corner. Bye-bye.